Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very exciting video. My friend here on YouTube, Brie from Brie C Beauty, has just announced her very first collaboration. It is with It's Belle Cosmetics, and she was kind enough to ask them to put me on the PR list for this launch. So today we're gonna go over this beautiful new palette. I'm gonna show you guys swatches, tell you a little bit about the palette and the packaging and the launch and everything, and then I'm gonna do two different looks and maybe give you some ideas if you're interested in picking this up. First, I have to give a huge shout out to Nelly and Brie. Congratulations to you guys on a collaboration, especially to Brie. I know that she is thrilled, a little anxious, hoping that people are gonna love it, and I'm excited to play with it. And this is also my first time using It's Bell Cosmetics, so congratulations to you guys, and thank you both so much for thinking of me when it came to who was gonna get this ahead of time. I just feel honored and delighted, and I'm very stoked for the collaborators. Let me show you guys some B-roll and read you the back of the packaging. Greasy Beauty X It's Bell Cosmetics. Beauty that welcomes everyone. What is more beautiful and magical than a tropical nights? From stargazing on the beach with family, to dancing at an island bar, to quiet evenings enjoying the cool breeze after a hot day, this palette is inspired by those magical nights I had in my beautiful home of Hawaii. I hope with this palette I am able to capture that magic and share it with you all. Thank you all for your love and support. This collection could not have happened without you. This is the Tropical Nights Pressed Pigment Palette. It comes in a sleeve like this, and I'm pretty sure there are a few other items in the launch. I haven't gotten those in PR, but I will put them on the, on the screen, whatever the brand releases as far as letting you know what's in the collection. I'm also gonna put all of the information, launch date and price. As of this filming, I haven't gotten that information yet, so I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'll make sure to include it in the screen. And Nelly from It's Bell Cosmetics said that she's going to give me an affiliate code. I do not think that it's going to apply to this collection, but it will apply to anything else on their site. I'm not sure if that's gonna be activated by the time this goes up either, but again, Again, all of that information is going to be in the description box if you're curious. Without further ado, let's look at what Brie and Nelly created. Here again is the Tropical Nights palette, and it looks like this. It's so pretty. It's so, so vibrant. I was talking with Brie a little bit, and she's doing a whole video where she's talking about the palette, so I'll link her video as well. But she was telling me that she wanted it to be something that worked for lots of different skin tones, had a, deep, uh, had a decent arrangement of lightness and depth so that you could get some blending out shades, you can add inner corner highlights, and she just loves color. So this is such a great representation of what she most enjoys, these rich, deep jewel tones, the tropical colors, the sparkle. This is very Brie, and I think that she did a beautiful job, honestly. I think it's lovely. And I think today I'm going to do two looks, and then hopefully I'll be able to come back another day and give you more looks. I just really want to get this video up around the time that the palette is revealed so people can start seeing content about it. I'm not exactly sure where I want to start. Two of these shades were broken in transit, but I was able to press them back in without any problem. There were two that stood out out to me um, this one right here and I think it was high life and I did extra close swatches of those two so you can see them as well they're just so striking and impactful and very very saturated in color and I think they look pretty opaque again we'll see how they work on the eyes I'm gonna prime my eyes and we'll get going there are actually a lot of options in here and I'm looking around thinking I could do this oh wait no I could do that oh this would be pretty I have all these different these different thoughts but I've only got two eyes and only have the time to do two looks so let's just do something right I'm taking a small what is this blend bunny before going into guava the pink matte I think I'll start this here again I'm so thankful to Nelly and Brie for sending me this it was funny because Nelly had contacted me over on Instagram and asked if I want to receive some of the PR package and I'm like yes thank you and then I went and I messaged Brie because I knew that she has done a lot with um she's used a lot of It's Bell's palettes now I'm taking the purple matte what's it called Mapuana I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of these I haven't seen Brie's video because she hasn't published it yet Anyway, I went to Brie and I was like, hey, look at this. I got this out of the blue message from It's Bell Cosmetics about PR and that's so cool, right? I mean, I don't know how they found me, but that's exciting. And she responded, oh yeah, that's great. I really appreciate the brand and they work with a lot of different people. Yeah, then I found out that the collaboration was with her and I messaged her. I was like, you're the reason that they contacted me. <laughs> And she said, yes, I did ask to have you put on the PR list. And she's just so sweet. And I'm, I'm very excited for her because this is like a dream, you know? It's a dream for her to do this. And 
I know she's super excited. I'm trying to find a clean blending brush. I think I'll take the Picake shade, the white matte, and just try to soften right here. Turn that pink a little more pastel-y. Anyway, it was, Brie was the reason that it's Belle contacted me out of the blue. Oh, my air conditioner just kicked on. Hope that's not disturbing you guys. And I'm very stoked for her to get this opportunity. And I talked with Nelly from It's Bell, and she seems super nice. Again, this is the first time I'm using anything from It's Bell Cosmetics. I, I, I didn't know what to expect as far as formula. This one seems to be a little bit more grippy. It's not over blending, but it's not hard to work with either. I've laid down the color the way that I generally do, and I'm just cleaning off my brush on this napkin on my lap and softening the edges. You see that the purple is blending out to be quite pink, so that's kind of the undertone of the shade. I think out of pure curiosity, again, brand new formula to me, I want to see how it blends, how it builds, how it shears, etc. I'm just taking the same brush, I've cleaned it off, I'm dipping into the red matte, which is called Big Island, and I'm going to put that just in the outer corner a bit. I don't want to cover the purple, I just wanted to see how it merged with the purple, and how it built upon the purple. Back into the purple, just here. So this is now the third layer in this outer corner because I got purple, red, purple again. I mean, everything's working together nicely. I'm not having any patchiness at all. The purple and the red are about the same depth. So you're not gonna have one that significantly deepens the other. Of the two, the purple will deepen the red a bit more. And that's basically what I was trying to go for right here. Just that the purple deepens the red a little and the red brings a new shade to what's happening. All right, let's talk shimmers. <laughs> There's a little bit of kick up in the pans, but I, I don't have anything on my face. I'm going to pick up, I think I'll pick up Poi and I'll swatch Pog as well. I don't know if it's Pog or P-O-G. Again, I haven't seen Bree's video. She hasn't published it yet. Ooh, the shimmers from this brand seem to be really, really impactful. So let's do Poi first here. And then P-O-G. Pog. I'm going to say Pog. Okay, they lay on the lid beautifully. I thought about putting down glitter glue, but I forgot to. Okay, there's also a black in this palette, so let me get that. And I'll just put that in the outer corner kind of forgot about the black, but I also am just kind of trying a lot of different shadows to see how they work together. It's a first impression of the brand as well. Let's go back into guava and I can't decide, should I do the purple? Pink into purple or pink into red? What would you do? I think I'll do pink into red because I want to play with that orange tone above it. Now I think that this red also, like the purple, has pink undertones, because when I was blending out the red, I was getting pink coloring. And so it works well with the pink. It also works well with the purple. And the white matte Picake for an inner corner highlight. Yeah, that's a pretty nice white matte. The black was quite nice too. Hmm. Okay, let me do my waterline, I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the eye complete. I put on two colors in my waterline. I used orange from Udenzai in the outer half, it's very pigmented, and then I used this lighter pink from ColourPop. I think this is fluffy, and I put that on the inner half of my waterline, then I just have some mascara. Okay, so now for the other eye, I think we're gonna go into the blue-green territory. Let's take the same B4 blend from Blend Bunny and take palm trees and put it right here. Now, as far as the formula, when I was swatching this palette, the shimmers were definitely the stars of the show. I didn't necessarily have problems with the mattes. Some of them swatched a little bit thinner, a little bit more light than others. There seemed to be a bit of variety within the shimmer swatches. However, 
so far I haven't had any problem as they perform on the eye, which of course is the ultimate and most important test. I mean, who cares how well it looks on your hand or arm if it doesn't go well on your eyes, right? So a lot of it's experimenting with the palette itself because I'm building more than I might ordinarily just to see how the formula works. Same brush into Island Breeze. I'll put that here. And I think I'll use this to also soften the edges of the green. After most of it's laid down in this space, I'm just going to gently go in little circles this direction. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. I am having a tiny bit of trouble blending them out, at least these colors. I didn't have the problem over here, but these two tones are, like I said before, they're grippy. I think maybe these are a little bit more grippy than even I was expecting. They are blending out. They're just taking a bit of extra time. But again, it's not really a problem. I'm going into black sand. It's just something to be aware of. I like to play with shadows and see what their properties are so that I can know the best way to use them. Like for example, Beauty Bay, I learned through experience that they it doesn't build very well. So with Beauty Bay shadows, I start with the darkest and I go lighter and lighter from there. It's not to say that it's a bad formula. In fact, it's a really good formula. It's just a matter of, we'll say the order of operations when it comes to using it. So it's helpful to play around with a new formula and see how it works best to get the optimal results. I think that's a good start. Now let's go into shimmers. I wanna play with the shade Han Hanu, which is the green shimmer all the way in the upper corner. And I also wanna play with the High Life, which is the blue purple shimmer down at the bottom. And the reason I picked these two is because I, I knew that they wouldn't go together as easily as the green with either of the other greeny shimmers, like this one or this one. So I just want to see how these two look together. So I'll take Hanu here, obviously, next to the green. Wow. And then High Life. Wow, these are some incredibly impactful shimmers. I don't think I've ever used shimmers like this before. And then put them on top of each other and you get mermaid vibes. Like I'm overlapping these shimmers heavily. The green into the blue a lot and then the blue into the green a lot to get them to uh, create a new, a new impression. Oof. The only shimmers in my collection that are like this, as far as color, payout, and opacity, would probably be my colored rain shimmers, the Queen Bee palette. Okay, now I'll go back into my, yeah, I'm gonna go back into black, black sand, and make this outer corner a little deeper yet, and just, I don't like my shimmer to go all the way out here, so if it's intruding too much in the very outer third, I tend to bring a mat back in and overlay a little bit. Is the mat laying on top of the shimmer? Or does it not stick? You know what I mean? It's fun to play. But man, those are some incredibly dramatic shimmers. All right, now for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna take this ocean shade, which is this one here. I tried picking it up with a flat brush and it wasn't really grabbing. So now I'm picking it up with a very, very small blending brush. This is stubbier and I really just wanna load up the tip of the brush and then spray it. I want to apply this in quite a precise area, so I didn't want it to be on a large brush. I wanted it to be very controlled. These shimmers are chunkier than a lot of other shimmers I have, so I know that the best way to work with them is to pick them up on the brush and then just lay them down, just tap them and place them rather than trying to smear them. But they're very pretty. And now I'll go back to the black sand with this same brush. I just wiped it off on my napkin. Maybe I should have laid black sand down first and then let that be a base for the shimmer because it doesn't seem like the mats want to go on top of the shimmers. So the shimmers probably lay down nicely on top of the black mat and then you can get like a different, deeper base. But man, is that pretty. <laughs> 
And then of course, I'm gonna stick with my tried and true inner corner highlight of Picake. Hope I'm saying that right. I thought that white would be a good waterline color for this side. I just, I am partial to a white waterline. It's very striking and different. Here is look number two. Really quickly, as far as what else is on my face, I have this blush from ColourPop. It's the shade Matchmaker. I have the Frosting Highlighter Palette from uh, Cosmic Beauty. The center one is called Cinnamon Girl. And then I've got the NYX Smooth Whip Shade Latte Foam on my lips. So now let's talk about the palette. I had to turn off my microphone because it was doing that weird lagging thing again. I'm just really glad that I'm just having to record the end of the video instead of the entire thing. Okay, anyway. The palette itself. Again, my first impression of It's Belle Cosmetics. I didn't have any trouble with any of the shadows. They all blended just fine. I didn't have any patchiness. They built very nicely. I mean, in this outer corner, I've got at least four layers, I think. Um, no problems at all with blending or building. As I mentioned before, two of my shimmers did break in transit and the package was bundled up quite nicely. It's just a little bit more of a delicate formula. It's not as dry as say Lethal Cosmetics, which also tends to shatter in transit. It's certainly more emollient, more oil-based, but what happened was with these two shimmers, both of them kind of caked up into the center and pulled away from the edges of the pan. And so I just had to push them back into the center of the pan. But that's, that's kind of how the formula is. It's a little bit chunkier as a shimmer formula in general, a little bit more of a flaky base that's going to smooth out on your lid. I didn't have, fortunately, anything explode into the rest of the pans. I was able to press the shimmers back into place. It's just something to be aware of. As far as the color story, I think it's lovely. I really do think that Brie and Nelly did a good job of creating a nice range of depth, light to dark. We've got a black, we've got a white, which does make quite a nice inner corner highlight. Several mid tones and then one or two deeper leaning mid-tones. I think if I had to change the color story at all, I would have taken one of these three bluish mattes and replaced it with a pink or purple that was more pastel because we've got one pink, one purple, and one red, but they're all kind of mid-tone. So if we had a pastel pink or a pastel purple, it would work with all three of these and also work with the shimmers. And of course you can deepen as well. The shimmers are beautiful. They're so, so impactful. They're so creamy and they just create this smooth wash on the lid. I just think that Brie and Nelly did a great job. It's a fun theme, tropical nights. There's a little palm tree that's silhouetted against the city line and it's, it's lovely. So thank you guys again so much for letting me be a part of this launch. You've done a good job. You should be proud of your hard work. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear which of these looks you prefer. Do you like look number one? Do you like look number two? Are you like me and you can't decide? Because I was going to pick my favorite and then make the like wash off the other look and make it match, but I can't choose. I don't know which one I like best, so shoot. Maybe I'll leave them both on. <laughs> it's totally fine, and I just might go about my day with mismatched eyes. I like both looks so much. I've had a great deal of fun playing with this palette, and I'm grateful to have received it. Thank you so much, everybody who watched this video. Do remember to check my description box for all the information about the launch. Also, Bree's reveal video will be in the description box. I can't wait to see it, to hear about the whole story and her history and feelings and emotions and thoughts that have gone into this palette, the colors and the names that she chose. Really can't wait to see that video and the looks that she does with her own palette. This is just probably a highlight in her life. And I hope you guys will consider going over to her channel and checking out what she's got to say. Thank you again for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.